Yeah. So we've uh, there's been data for now decades looking at the risk of developing colorectal cancer where patients who are more physically active have a lower risk of developing colorectal cancer. And now about a decade ago we started looking at large prospective cohorts of patients with early stage disease, and I'll define early stage as stage one to three with colon and rectal cancer, and showed that those who were physically active had a lower risk of recurrence. CLGB8405, the trial that looked at either Folfox or Fulfiri, comparing cetuximab to bevacizumab, and initially a combination of both of those antibodies, uh, had a companion study that was started at the initiation of the trial where we collected data about various lifestyles as well as a food frequency questionnaire as well as uh, medication use including aspirin and statin use where we've been able to start looking at some of those other exposures and how they affect outcomes in patients and in that study that we'll present on Saturday the patients who were more physically active while they were getting treatment for their metastatic colorectal cancer had a lower had an improvement in progression-free survival and overall survival. Do you want me to do that again? Because <laughs> then I was starting to like look at nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw you do that and then I was like, I'll just keep staring at that window. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, okay. Do you want me to do the after question? He said, what, what, what level of physical activity? Yeah, no, it's no, 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 it's yeah, yeah, no, it's in there. Um, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> so I'll stare at you now again. Um, so in that trial, we did look at we asked people what level of activity they were doing, ranging from various activities, including walking, jogging, playing racket sports. And patients with metastatic colorectal cancer, particularly on first line therapy, can be active, and many were to some degree active. And we actually show similar thresholds of activity leading to uh, association of benefit as we saw in the early stage patients. So, you know, the, the, the numbers where you start seeing some benefit is around this metric called MET hours, which is metabolic equivalent task unit hours, and somewhere around 9 to 10, which is the equivalent of walking about an hour a day, three to four days per week at a moderate pace and maximum benefit when you start getting up to 18 hours, uh, mad hours per week, which is about an hour of walking per day most days of the week.